I can't have you. What are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Fear, Fear of Fathom. Um, episode three. So it's like based off of real. to my channel we are playing a scary game it is i think it is appropriate because i know this video ain't gonna come out for a little bit but it's friday the 13th and we gotta play some scary and i love fears to fathom games because it's very story based heavy and like i think all the stories are real too which is cool i love i love real scary stories because it really happens we are gonna play episode three we played the last two episodes you can watch that in um on my youtube channel earlier back uh but we're playing carson's house episode three but before we continue if you guys could please chop that like button and hit the subscribe i will greatly appreciate it and definitely hit that notification bell uh because they don't be sending out notice anymore unless you hit that bell so hit that bell and um let's see what carson's house is all about i hope i survive my name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I am sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days. Keep going? For real? All right, you know what? Let me do this again because I'm a voice actor. I'm a voice actor and all, you know, you can send me a horror shorts party. We gonna do it all over again. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody who could trust me, excuse me, <clears throat> and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that man would pay me a hundred dollars just to watch the house and do some basic chores because we in the Midwest and that's what we do. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. All right, now we for real, for real. What in the hell? Why are we in a laundromat? No instruction or nothing. Nope. I noticed that this game is always really bad to record or stream. This sucks already. Endless laundromat. This is a nightmare on its own. Oh, hell no. Shift to sprint. Let's go! We are getting some cardio in, baby! What up, homie? Bleach? What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put what? Um, who are you? Where is Bleach? I need Bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Um... What is this place? I said I need bleach! Bro, what you need is a salad and a Diet Coke. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over, we're here. We're here. You said we could do this. What are you talking about? Wake up now. Don't wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up! 
wake up you still think you could do this i don't even know what the hell you talk a math notebook <laughs> i got this dad how long did i doze off for doesn't matter can you do this now all right i got it roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock all right a, a hide a key he said it's in the backyard and like i said keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone i heard you the first time dad you know they my dad would have backhanded me right there okay now get your ass to work what what are the child labor laws in this midwest state i hope you know i'm only in it for the snacks Ooh, free food free free food hits different get me out of here all right bye you're not even gonna wait until i get into the house before you leave rude shows how much he cares it was a nice neighborhood it sure is look at this it's quiet what you gonna do hit me all right i get okay. they don't care about my well-being i'll okay wait 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 i have to go to the backyard right is this a backyard i don't see a rock nowhere so a fake rock suspicious oh they have a dog how cute <gasps> puppy oh my gosh why are you outside come inside no come inside the house come on let's go we will not to throw all right puppy go get it okay that's gotta be the rock right no old dog house Is that there we go we learning we learning come on puppy hey come on let's go in the house in the house come on let's go I guess I'll go pee. Uh, let's see. Bathroom. There we go. I made a mess. I made a mess. Thanks for taking the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson, honestly jealous of Ava. I know, right? Just had the weirdest dream ever. This baby. Uh, my bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Okay, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure. Ha -ha. He's my dad. Uh, school is full of buttholes. I don't think you're a butthole. Oh, look at <laughs> we getting we getting we getting a little something some. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I wish you could come tonight. Can I read from my lady? I would have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke or Zeke? Excuse me. Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. Now that I'm here, you got nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Let me text my lady. Hey girl. No, okay. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get his dog food from the basement, right on it. Can I like read back my flirtatious? I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been a good kid a good good kid. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even know what mine thinks of me. R O F L. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, you have to stop beating yourself up. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I can't help it, but feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault anyway. You got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend, wink, 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 wink. Heart, heart, this little baby. Jealous, okay, cool. All right, well, let's go feed the dog. Ah, oh, shit. 
The basement was a little too dark. Oh, hell no. Shit. I know, you got me. Come on now, come on now, come on. Almost forgot, I apologize for that. I, you can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. All right, say less. Storage room. Okay. Well, it's way bigger than ours. Duh. Oh my gosh. Is this the storage room? Yeah, this house is massive. That's gotta be a bedroom. Yeah. This is huge. This is gonna be a bad game. Uh, laundry room. Looks like a good spot where I can sit down and work. Yeah, but we need a flashlight. We gotta feed the, the dog. This looks like a storage room, but I can't um, see anything. I don't see no flashlight. Oh. All right, dog food, dog food, dog food. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, this is already more, um, compared to the last one, this is already a lot more specific. Yum! Yeah. Go on, boy. Delicious. Hey, kid. Heard from Walter, your computer whiz. I have a favorite ask. My computer's been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. You got a whole security system set up in here? What's What's your favor? You haven't asked anything. No please, no thank you, no question mark have a lot of expensive equipment laying around don't want anything happening to it yeah i understand i'll take a look at your computer please would have been nice thanks kid okay I'll, I'll accept the thank you al carson 5387 okay al carson 5387 Guide to being a better person. Welcome to 2023, y'all. This is a guide to being a better person. Talk and talk directed by Alec Carson. In this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Oh no. Puppy. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. Guide to being a better person. These nuts, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Let's go to the internet. Okay, fine. We are we are throwing it back to Windows 96, y'all. System 55. Okay, remove. We got a Trojan horse in here. Get it out of here. All right, that was easy. All done. Night mode. Oh, hell. 
tell that to my kit. Uh, okay, it's done. It was just some Trojan. I recommend you download softwares from trusted website. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop a nice tip. Yeah, I appreciate you. Let's keep snooping. Golly, leave me alone. Ooh, reminds me of cooking, cooking with Jeffrey, but everyone, wait, that place got a TV. All right, let's watch um some telly. What the hell? Cat food. The sizzle. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. Okay, now what? To start, we poured the milk into the glass. What do kids be watching nowadays? Damn, whatever happened to Rugrats? I think you should get the groceries before cash in my nightstands. What? What? For $100, you want me to go grocery shopping and watch your house? Better add an extra zero to that. I'm sorry, E, think I gotta run. There's juice on my ass right now. Want me, wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. Weird smell of wet clothes. That's just great. Give me this money, all right. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well as it's on the house. Yeah, with a, a hundred dollar bill. First of all, ranch, strawberry jelly, cocoa spread, milk and eggs, garden peas, all that is gonna cost at least $250. We, you can take Alex bike, it's outside the garage. What in the hell? This is stupid. Golly. All oh, this for a hundred dollars. I could probably get strawberry jelly, cocoa spread, and rice, and maybe some eggs for a hundred dollars in this day and age. Bro, we're in a recession. Stupid. All right, let's get out of here. Ouch. Hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. All right. I don't know where the grocery store is. But I got a hundred dollar in my pocket and I'm gonna go find the ice cream man. Let's go this way. Knucks. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't have a helmet. Oh my gosh. Watch, all this is gonna come out to 125.34 and it's gonna be up to me. Do we need ketchup? Yeah, ketchup. Can I get like a cart or something? Oh, okay. Strawberry jelly. This is dumb. We can get a little something for ourselves too. Shoot, let me get. I just told you I'm grocery shopping. Uh, hey son, do you work here? Why, why? What are you doing lady? Get out of my face. What is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it. It's at the front of the shop. Oh, how nice of you. Move. Oh, gosh, mustard. You don't see this mustard here, ma'am? Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Could you get me one? I just take it. Oh, my gosh. Hello? You know what? Get your own damn mustard. Rice. Um... Turner and Andy. Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Who are you talking about? See, we can't say names. What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick. I didn't even realize. Dang. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Have you seen yourself in the mirror? Look at you. You look like trash. You look like you're 76 years old. Milf energy, bro. Incel energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. These boys are pissing me off. 
Goth milled energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Dude, mind your business. Nothing. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house it. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kids are weird, real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Uh, whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. All right, dudes, you at school on Monday. See ya. Oh, here we go. All right. Should I build this for you? I didn't get all the items. <sighs> honey, honey, we need honey. Oh, there we go. All right, here you go. I can't even see you. Oh. What the f- What am I- Get pissed off. Let me, like, not get my noodles, I guess. Because, you know, it's on the house. That looks heavy, kid. Should I- Carson didn't leave me. What are you talking about? I think I got the wrong milk. This is so... This is the... This is... I hate it here. You know what's funny is I have to turn the, the graphics down, but I can't read what I'm getting. We're just going to do it all over again because... Screw us, I guess. Jeez, yes, please. God, thanks for shopping. Have a better system, why don't you? Can I steal some? Damn, I can't. We're gonna put it in my bag. All right, let's see if we can have better aim. This is me as a boy, hold on. All right, ready? I did it. All right, now let's go do our homework. What the hell? Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet. Roy Carson divorce. Divorce. Du from angry fan. What? What is this? Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it is just too overbearing. Wow. Damn. For real? Fans being too nosy about personal business? What? Say it ain't so. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. The fans really giving out death threats. That is, that is just unheard of sources say roy carson has had people knocking on his doors to co to confront him Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet but hunter news is act actively trying to reach out to her so you the reader stays updated someone was at the front door yeah well you know this is why you get cameras this is why you get cameras look at this as my cameras it's creepy because like my cameras is going off and so i'm getting notifications like here in real life right now and it's very creepy wait what about my dog where's my dog is he okay where's my dog okay he's in see i hate this why is your dog outside bring your dog inside the house it's raining outside damn So now what we're gonna do is pretend that we didn't hear anything. Like, you just read the article, dude. Have some common sense. Do not go to the door. But the game's gonna make me, so. Coming. I just read about psycho fans just showing up at my house. Can I get a gun? Is there a gun? No, okay.
Um, I guess I have to open the door, huh? Open my ass. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from the pizza de depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Uh, you must be at the wrong address. This is 22 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson? Yeah, I ain't dumb. Can I grab a knife? I'm gonna throw this at him. If he tries anything. All right, you guys ready? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh my gosh. Damn, he really just standing there. In episode one, was it one? I think it was one. When you went outside, you pretty much died. So I ain't trying to die, but different game right different episode you never know maybe maybe we're just in a safe neighborhood where you can leave your door unlocked here sorry i'm just way too precautious hey this is probably a very strange request but do you think i can wait inside until the rain's over Watch this dude be like, yeah, that's fine. It's probably not very safe to be out here right now. And I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Um, I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. No. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. Out of here, bro. Let me stay here. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just going to say no. Get out. TV. Thought I was supposed to do homework, but yum. Oh god, I miss pizza. Nice and hot despite the rain. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute. Okay, thanks. We're about to eat the whole pizza in one sitting. Hope everything's okay. Leave me alone. You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. Oh, I would have died. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't yeah. escape. That sounds like every... Can I use the bathroom? I heard someone at the door again. I ain't done with my pizza. They can wait. Who is it? I knew I heard someone knocking at the door. Best part is we got cameras, baby. Should have closed the TV. Oh my God. What the hell? And so I did. Poor puppy. She's going around the back. I think she put a dead fish. That's like murder in mafia talk, right? Who is it? What is this shit? Flowers. I don't know what I don't know what to make of it. Okay, so it's not dead fish. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Oh, we got a stalker. Assumed it was wrong number. Yeah, don't even, don't even. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Oh, uh, I guess let's like watch TV, I think. Okay, I don't know what to do now gotta be something with the flowers right oh shit turn that off that scared the hell out of me oh. I 
haven't been in this room. Okay, let me see. I just, yeah, all right. Oh, schoolwork, okay. All right, let's go, let's do our finish. Let's finish our homework. Oh, damn, I was like, all right, let's go home now. It's, our alarm went off. What else, the power went off. Oh my gosh. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyway. Todd is so much hotter. What? I was almost certain it had to be another prank. Well, let me see if I can turn this off. Nope, okay. I just knew guys like him very well. The only people that I knew was house sitting. I can't, bro, where's my flashlight? Damn, I left it downstairs. I'm coming, puppy. You are stupid. We're about to die. Suddenly very cold outside. Duh, it's winter, bro. What's, what's the matter? He's acting very weird. Turn the power back on. This is gonna suck. This is stupid. It's okay, boy. Where, where'd you go? Had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off. Alright, dog. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on, in the house. Come on, in in the in the house. The dog is so used to being outside that coming inside is just. You said we'd stay friends. Yeah, if you're not weird. What the hell happened in there? I had a strange feeling. Lock the door. Okay, there's motion somewhere. Might sound stupid, but I'm over. <gasps> the camera moved. All right, we gotta go check out that green room. I think it's in here. What the hell? What the hell happened here? There's a there. Seems fine and dandy. Looks safe. No one's in here. Let's go back and do our homework. So much homework. Why am I up at two o'clock in the morning? If if I'm awake at two o'clock in the morning, I still got homework to do, then I guess I ain't turning my homework in because, or it's gonna be incomplete. I heard something downstairs. Yeah, good thing we got cameras. <laughs> All right, where's this motion coming from? the oven this would be the time where i would call 911 there's someone in my house and i'm getting out i'm taking the dog and we're out the music is <sighs> you saw a person in the window oh my gosh i'm scared oh my gosh can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. Oh my gosh. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark. Dude, he's at my place right now. We're gonna go to the movies with Brady, but it started pouring. Should we do all that to my lack of sleep? Let's leave that open. Now that, I think I, now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Yeah, no, duh. Dude, if there was a creepy dude in the window, I missed that creepy dude and I'm scared. Editor, if you saw the creepy dude, I'm gonna need you to do like a slow motion or like a zoom in because I completely missed it. And I'm kind of glad that I did. <gasps> the door's open. Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It was Brady who told me about it. This is... I thought I just heard somebody. Oh my 
my gosh. Oh. Okay, well let's let's do that then. I was about to just run, bro. a knife. Right of the door I was in. Thought my heart would pound right up. Noah, are you in there? Who are you? It's my crazy ex. I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get in here? What do you want? Do we talk to her? Or do we just stay quiet? What do we do? She has a knife. She don't want to just talk. Stay quiet, stay quiet. Oh, we staying quiet. Don't. <laughs> Damn. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treated me like crap. You need help. I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least you- Whoa! Okay, now, alright, we ain't gonna say that. It's different with her. This is why. Yeah, this. This is why. But I love you! What about- Oh shit, you scared the shit out of me! <laughs> but I love you, what- <laughs> I fucking hate you. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> what about that? You need to leave right now. We we deserve a second chance. You know, I could try to turn you into the police for this. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Can I hide somewhere? Where can I hide? Where can I hide? Where can I hide? How do I get out of here? I can't have you. Uh, I'm playing Fear, Fear of Fathom, um, episode three. So it's like based off of real. Damn! That was my fault. That wasn't my fault. We we gonna have to try that again. We gonna have to try that again. <sighs> Shut up. Okay, take two. Let's let's do this again. It's just a dog. It's just a dog. He's just going on back. He's just patrolling, like what you would do, Jolene. Just kidding. But my heart's all right. Let's see if we could go across the hall and hide. This is why walking around with a knife, sneaking into someone's house is not, it is not okay, ma'am. I think you need help. I think you need help. Right outside the door and room. What? Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between, um, what do you want? I've always been nothing but nice to you. 
but you always treated me. You need help. It's different with her, bitch. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave. You did. This is like the P. Diddy meme where they're just staring at each other. Do it and I will kill you both. Thank God I did it. I left. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Oh, we did it. Though by the time they arrived, she already left the house. Well, we already know who was there. But I knew where she lived. D don't tell me that I show up there. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her, her cute, so we started dating. That is not the reason to start dating, but okay. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, there's cameras but of course the cop wasn't buying it they reviewed the footage and it showed everything from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife but the thing that messed me up the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house turns out she was heavily under the in influence of drugs and alcohol at the time she was arrest arrested and sentenced for a long time we did it we did it. Finally, the police earning their paycheck. <gasps> Cook it with Jeffrey. Berlizzi? Oh, Berlin was in this. Hey, that's cool. Top donation. That's cool. Jack Septicai, Berlizzi. That's awesome. Good for you, Berlin. Good for you. Making big moves. Inspiration. Let me follow in your footsteps. Inspiration. I love these games. These games are cool. That was good. That was good. I'm gonna be turning keep holding me down. Yeah. It's too many to be turning easy as long as I know. You can never know that. No, don't let 